You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, and Ari here from Drake Wing Gaming. Somebody on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Remember the Flowers. So, last episode we had just gotten to know the team a little bit better, so I guess we're going to be exploring the base or something today. You to know our environment a little bit better. But anyway, y'all, please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertaining. Let's jump right in. Sorry for sounding winded. I just got done with a bit of an exercise, a bit of exercise, so yeah. All right, let's jump right back in. Um, alarm Chan. Where are you, Alarm Chan? Where you go, girl? Come back here, Alarm Chan. Okay, Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. The sun's starting to set. Now that I think about it, won't it get cold? The warehouse doesn't look too, listen, it doesn't look insulated. I need to ask for a blanket or two. I don't see the hyena or dragon inside. Maybe they're still by the car? I move around the bulky car, and sure enough, there they are. Rain looks passed out on the ground. Rose is tinkering with her arm. Uh, everything okay? Oh, hey, Sai, what's up? I grimace. Axel says he wants to help. Wants to help with some. Wants to help with dinner. Gotcha. Sorry, I didn't realize how late it had gotten. She gets up and dusts off her jeans, leaving the dragon behind. Are you gonna go get him? If he misses out on dinner because he pissed, because he's pissed. Cause he pissed me off. That's on him. He knew that. He knew what he was getting into. Harsh. He's still breathing, at least. To be honest, the petty side of me does take some satisfaction in seeing him flat on the ground. But at the same time, the considerate side of me wants to make sure he's okay. You go on ahead. I'll uh go check the damage. Heh. <laughs> It'll take more than that to kill him. Not much more, but more. I see. Heh. <laughs> Trust me, he'll be fine. Uh, probably. A great vote of confidence. If you really want to wake him up, just tell him someone is eating you know whose food. That should do it. Okay, why don't you go and do that? Because he's been getting on my nerves and I don't want to. Simple as that. But too simple, but I guess I can respect the pettiness to some degree. Besides, he sucks at cooking. I was already going to be doing most of the work work with Axel. Him being up wouldn't make that much of a difference. I see. Can't tell if they have a close relationship or they just hate each other. Maybe both. Well, I'll see you inside, I guess. She waves as she walks in. I turn my attention to the dragon laying on his back. Honestly, I kind of want to head back in too. Maybe this is an opportunity to get on his good side. I, I mumble to myself as I walk over to the couch. The couch down beside the dragon. There's a bit of drool dripping from his snout. Uh, hey, you. Are you okay? Besides some grumbling, there's not much of a response. I'm definitely not strong enough to pick him up. wonder if I should go get Axel for this. Then I'm reminded of what Rose said to me. Might as well try it, right? Hey, uh, Bring? Someone is eating you-know-who's food. The dragon snaps his mouth shut and starts to glare at me before sitting up and grabbing my shoulders. Was it you? Did you eat the food Silver made me? Instinctually, I try to push on the dragon's chest to get him off of me with little success. But don't touch me! Who the hell is Silver? <laughs> Ring seems to come too as he quickly pulls back his arms to cover his mouth. His eyes are wide as he slowly lowers his hands. You didn't, you didn't hear that. I sure did. His moment of fear is quickly replaced with animosity. If you let anyone know I told you that name, I'll kill you. Where have I heard that before? Annoyed, I get myself up and pat my pants clean. Whatever, man, dinner's gonna be ready soon. That's all I came here to tell you. Yeah, definitely a waste of time. I can hear the dragon curse to himself behind me as I make my way back inside. Hmm. <laughs> My bad mood quickly dissipates. Something smells really good in here. I hadn't been gone for very long, but Axel and Rose have set up a small kitchen station to prepare everything. Oh, there you are. Do you have any requests, Cyrus? No, I'm not very picky. Good, I think you and I will get along fine then. If you say so, do you need any help? Did you get ring up? Unfortunately. Rose snorts at that. He's grumpy when you wake him up. Also has loose lips. Axel drops the smile. What do you mean? Hey! Ring walks in, grumpy as ever. Stop calling me. Jesus. Rose, did you eat Talon's food again? No, I didn't, you dumbass. I just knew you'd wake up if someone said that. Ah, I see. Talon must be Silver's code name. Now there's a nugget of information to keep in mind. I wonder if I'm petty enough to blackmail. We shall see. Ring glares at me. What? 
Nothing. I roll my eyes and decide to return to ignoring him. Axel, do you need anything else? Not really. Food's almost done. There's some crates around the place you could grab for us if you want. You want them anywhere? Just make a circle. We'll put some of the food in the middle for people to serve themselves. All right. Looking around the warehouse, there's a variety of boxes. Some look like wooden crates, while others are similar to the ones Lance had. They certainly won't pass for a matching dinner set, but I guess they'll get the job done. Since they're mostly empty, it's just a matter of pushing them into place. Thankfully, it doesn't take me very long. Looking over my shoulder, I see Axel and Rose working away. Uh, can you pass me the- Can you pass me the salt? Coming right up. Got the peppers? Here you go. They're working pretty well together. I wonder how often they do improv dinners like this. Wait, something, someone's missing. I move the last box over and, ring, and notice Ring leaning against the wall on his axiom. Can't help but frown. Ring catches me staring at him. He sneers back. I roll my eyes and dust my hands off before checking on the others. It smells amazing. I'm surprised you were able to do all the. I'm surprised you were able to make do all the way out here. It's nothing much. It's pretty common for us to go on long trips. Sometimes through the desert. We had to get food. We had to get good at making food that keeps for a long time. Ring used to make us military grade food. His meals got old pretty fast. Huh, there's a military? Is that why he's sulking in the corner? No, who knows? He's who no, no, he knows he's really bad at cooking. It's either bland as hell or he makes it so spicy he'll blow up a toilet. <laughs> Come on, Rose, don't be so hard on him. Cooking isn't easy. Obviously not with how he handles himself in the kitchen. He overseasons everything to suit his tastes. He once told me it's something to do with being part dragon. Different taste buds. Wouldn't be surprised, but I'd rather not have a gallon of milk at the dinner table if I can avoid it. You don't like spicy food? I do, but not how he does it. When we get home, I'll make you one of my specialties. Sure. We can try to make all sorts of things for you. Uh, it might help you remember which are your favorites. He doesn't even remember that much? No. A tear slides down her cheek. Poor guy. Uh, I'm fine, really. I can't miss something I don't remember. You don't ha you don't have to trouble yourselves over me. Oh, okay. Axel, can you ca can you pass me that? Without even skipping a beat, her teary eyes disappear. Sure. Here you go. I'm gonna start setting up now. Sounds good. It's almost done. Hey, Cyrus, can you help me for a second? Sure. Well, what's up? Axel crouches down behind their makeshift kitchen, then holds up some kind of gadget. It's starting to get late. Since there's no lights in this building, we use these special lanterns. Looks sort of green, almost ghostly. What makes them special? Do I need to do something? I just need you to hold still while I put in the fluid. Fluid? Yeah, it's a bioluminescent fluid. It's hard to come by, so I'd rather not spill it. It lasts for a long time, though. I think I can handle that. Is it safe to touch? As long as it doesn't get near your eyes. Axel places the lantern in front of me. Just, just hold it steady for me, alright? Got it. The lantern's surface feels cool to the touch. I wonder if it's glass. Oh, right. We'll look at your hand after we eat. It's fine. It doesn't hurt. That's not all. We should still make sure it's not infected. Alrighty. Any anyway, uh, ready when you are. Thanks. Should just take should take just a minute. Axel slides the top of a can. Axel slides the top of a canteen, which produces a small opening. The fluid he pours reminds me of syrup. Reminds me of syrup if it was seafoam green. I was expecting it to smell bad, but I'm surprised that it's almost smoky. Easy does it. Almost there. His arms are almost trembling as he tries to keep himself steady. Once he fills up most of the flask, he carefully slides the top of the container to shut it before placing it down with a solid huff. Man, I hate using this stuff. Seems kind of cumbersome. Do you not have any portable lights? We do, but we don't have a convenient way to charge them. They're for emergencies. That's weird. I thought everything y'all use is solar-powered. Not necessarily. Some equipment is, like the Axiom. But a lot of it is powered with kinetic energy. Uh, you lost me. That's all right. We'll show you when we get back. Just know it's a bit awkward to power stuff if we're away for too long. We like to save most of the power for the in vehicle. I guess that makes sense. Rose calls and gets our attention. You guys ready to eat? Absolutely. Hey, Ring, come on, it's dinner time. Thank God, I was about to kill over. You know, I, you know I can always make you something if you're hungry. You don't have to wait. I'm not gonna bother you to make me a sandwich in the middle of a mission. I'll just, I'll just save, I'll just save some leftovers for later. Suit yourself. Can you get the bowls and plates? Sure. Give me a second. I'll get the food ready to serve. I, I appreciate it. 
They chat amongst themselves as they set everything up. I wonder if they've forgotten that I'm here. If they have, this must be how they genuinely act around each other. I can't deny that it's heartwarming. They have a nice dynamic going on, at least on the surface. I think Cyrus should be the first to eat. Huh? How come? He's our guest, Ring. Can't be a guest if he's gonna live with us. Technically, he's right, but I still think Cy should choose. Fine, whatever, just this once. boy. Axel sits down on a crate and motions for me to sit next to him. I can serve you, just let me know what you'd like to try. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. It's hard to not drop my guard around this guy. His voice is really calming to listen to. This group is already way more considerate than my last host. As of right now, I don't think they've lied to me. Axel said there were things he can't explain right now, but soon. It's way better than what Lance was doing. Lance from the get-go wasn't happy with the situation. I am pretty sure he only tolerated me at the start, for the money. Maybe I'm just being naive, but I don't think this group is lying to me. If they were, I, it wouldn't take long for their stories to fall apart. As far as I can tell, everything is adding up. I've been trying to stay alert for only one day and I'm already exhausted. I'm tired of being on edge. I think I deserve some time to relax a bit. I think I'd like to try some of that soup if that's alright. Coming right up. I think the fatigue from everything is starting to hit me. As wimpy as it sounds, I don't want to put too much effort into eating right now. I just want to sip some soup and go to bed. It reminds me. Hey, Axel, are you sure we can't sleep in the inn vehicle? Hmm? Axel pours a ladle of creamy broth into my bowl before setting some kind of pastry on a plate next to it. Sorry, probably not. We need to keep it off for the night to conserve power. Clear cloaking takes a lot of energy. That's why we set it up here. I see. I'll be a wuss. How about don't be a dick? I'm not. He can handle it. I'm just worried about the desert getting cold. We have a heated blanket for you to use. Made it myself. I really want to say that doesn't make me feel much better, but I decided not to. Too tired for that. I appreciate it. No pro- Hey, you don't get any dumplings! Come on, you can't hog them all the time. They're the last batch Talon made. Fuck off! That's because you ate the last two by yourself. He made them for me. He made them for us. They continue with their dinner time squabble. I didn't realize I'd I didn't realize I'd get dinner in a show. Speaking of, the soup is absolutely amazing. It's the perfect temperature with a good amount of flavor. I think it's a fish soup. It tastes, well, fishy, in a good way. Fish, leek, and potato soup, maybe? With just a hint of peppers for a kick. Not what I'd go with, but I can't deny that it works well together. You made the soup, Axel? Hmm? Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah, I did. How you like it? It's amazing, thank you. For what? He looks bewildered for some reason. For giving me a decent meal? Oh, you're welcome, but you don't need to thank me for that. Still, thank you. I appreciate having an actual meal for once. Guess it's been a while, huh? Feels like years. Well, eat up. When we get home, I'll have access to my kitchen. And I'll be able to make you anything you want, anytime. Can't help but chuckle. I might have to hold you to that. I go take another spoonful of soup before being interrupted by a dragon's hand. Here, you can have one. He's holding a dumpling on a pair of tongs. Axel and Rose look stunned. I guess I do too because I don't respond right away, which makes Ring annoyed. Well, do you want one or not? Uh, sure, thank you. I find another plate and hold it up for Ring. He delicately places the dumpling down. Dang, I guess Axel was right. You are warming up to the newbie. Now, now, Rose, don't tease behavior you want to see more of. I'm just saying... Um, thank you, Ring. I, I appreciate it. Hmm. Don't mention it. I am curious, though. What's the occasion, Ring? Nothing! Axel and Rose lean in with mischievous smiles. What? You're allowed to be nice, you know. I am nice, Rose snorts. Shut up, I just... I felt bad for him. He probably hasn't eaten anything good in a long time. I'm allowed to be nice. We already said that. Don't worry, I won't tell Talon. Promise? Ring, he won't care that you shared your food. He said you don't have to hoard it anyway. Not gonna stop me from trying. Clearly. Do I get one too? No. Come on, let me have just one. I said no, fuck off. Rose starts clinking together a pair of tongs as she's about to pounce, which makes Ring move back defensively. Now they're all getting into it, laughing and teasing each other while they eat. <sighs> Got a bunch of... Aww. Let's do that without the mouse on mouse cursor on screen. That's so cute! This... This is nice. 
really nice. Just watching them interact makes me happy. I continue to sip on the soup, which, with all of the commotion, I'm already falling, feeling sleepy. A tiny part of me wonders if they drug the soup or something to make me tired, but I quickly quash that notion. They're all eating it, and they could knock me out if they wanted to. Damn it, I'm getting too paranoid for my own good. That looks like a lovely meal. I can't help but yawn before I bite into the dumpling. Hmm. Okay, I can see why Ring is so protective of these things. They're steamed, and there's just enough fat inside to make them rich and flavorful. Good night. Good. Good, right? They said good night. Ring is looking at me expectantly. I quickly swallow. Yeah, they are good. S I mean, Talon made these? Sure did. He usually works solo. Sometimes we got a few months without seeing so we go a few months without seeing him. But he makes us a lot of good food to store before leaving, so this must be their hitman. You mean he makes you a lot of good food? I don't remember the last time I got a whole meal from him. Have you tried asking? Have you tried shutting the fuck up? <laughs> they glare at each other again. I can't help but chuckle. You guys are a riot, that's for sure. Axel smiles at me. You better get used to it. Don't worry, if Ring ever pisses you off too much, just call me. I'll knock him on his ass. I'm not going to antagonize the guy. Somehow, I have trouble believing that. Oh, shut it. I'll play nice, as long as he does. Burst my head on my hand and yawn before smirking. Likewise, maybe some other time. I I'm starting to get a bit sleepy. I have to choke back a yawn just so I can finish up my soup. I'll set up a bed for you once you're done eating. It'll probably be up for a bit longer. we got some planning to do. Do you need any help? Axel sighs. Cyrus, you got to take care of yourself a bit more. It'll be fine. Don't worry about us. You just get some rest. Come on. All right. Well, we'll try not to keep you up, although some of us are a bit louder than the rest. What? What was that? <laughs> Rose yells and rings the ear. He bops her on the snout. Ow, you little... Rose, you did deserve that. Tried to use your inside voice tonight, all right? Fine. Sorry, Sai. I'll be good tonight. It's fine. I'm already a light sleeper, so, you, so don't worry if you wake me up. If I wake you up. So don't worry if I wake up. Okay. If you want, we can work outside. No, no, it's fine. I'm not here to trouble y'all. All right. All right. Here, let's get you to bed then. My sleepy stupor is interrupted as Axel lifts me up by my armpits. What does that say? Oh, okay. Up you go. I have half a mind to push him off of me, but I'm too tired to try. Thankfully, he just helps me to my feet instead of trying to actually carry me. I think tomorrow I'll let them know I don't want to be touched. You sure we'll be okay sleeping in here? We'll be fine. Hardly anyone drives all the way out here. They usually, they usually just pour it. I'm surprised there aren't places you can go with a car. Well, there are, but they usually want authentication and registration, which, as you can imagine, wouldn't fly with our work. Heh, <laughs> fair enough. I assume you want to sleep by yourself? Probably. No problem. Let me go get everything. Sorry we don't have a toilet. If you need to yo, you can just go in the corner or something. Oh, wow, that's awful. All right, I'm going to pause it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.